Shalom, Akim, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Makakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, sincere Akim out there, the hopeful elect, brothers out there that's fighting, man, pushing this word. All right, my brothers in this ministry, you know, Shalom to you all, man. Right? Um, I just seen a video, I, I just seen a video of, I don't know how recent the video is, but it might be an old video, but I just recently saw it with Donald Trump being interviewed by, um, by some small hat, you know, cause talking about the the case that's going on out there, and um, in Hamas with, with in Gaza with Hamas, uh, going at it with the IDF, you know, and they basically asked Donald Trump, uh, what would he do, you know, if he if, you know, would he stand by Israel, would he support Israel and everything, you know, he they basically asked him what would he do, if if um if he was in office as the president instead of Joe Biden during the time of October 7th, you know? And Donald Trump said basically that he would have reacted the same way as BB Netanyahu, you know? Basically, he would have been all in all support of uh, committing genocide, all right? On, um, on the Palestinians in Gaza, okay? You know, he, he didn't say it, those words verbatim, but you know, that's basically, basically in a nutshell, that's what he said. But then he flipped it and said, this would have never happened had I been president. You know, it shit wouldn't have got that far. October 7th would have never even took place if he was president. So you know how these politicians talk, man. Slick. They real slick with it, man. That's why the scriptures refer to them as um as the serpent, you know. And here I got you got a lot of people talking shit, man, about my pets. You know, because they see my videos, you know, I got my, my snakes in the background. I'm gonna address that later too, man. All right. But the whole point is these politicians, yeah, they're serpents, man. You know, they're fork tongue serpents. They say one thing, but they 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 do another. They got a philosophy, right? That sits there and tells you these things are for your benefits. You know, it, it'll it'll help you progress and lead to uh, uh lead you to success. But in all reality, it, it it's the contrary. You still wind up, you know, fucked up predicament in the ghetto, mainly and namely in debt. You know, so this is what these politicians are set up to do to lie to you, man. They like to spin it on you, man. You know, and that's definitely what Donald Trump did, man. You know, but um, it just goes to show you that none of these world leaders, these politicians, the uh, the elites of this society, they don't give a fuck about the common folk, man. All right. And especially you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. They hate your guts, man. Even those of, that are of your people that sold out. And got into politics. They don't. Get, they don't associate with Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, they don't move, moved up to the big league where they're rubbing shoulders with Whitey. All right. So they don't give a fuck about our people, man. At the end of the day, and that's why, you know, the, the time of Jacob's troubles is actually coming, man. You know, it's right there. It's, it's right around the corner. And hopefully, yeah, it's going to take place this year. You know, we we hope that it does happen, man. You know, at the, the, the at the rate things are going. More than likely, it will happen. It can take place at any given moment in the snap of a finger, you know? So that's why you always got to stay on your P's and Q's and stay circumspect and stay prayed up and in the faith, you know? Put your, commit your trust in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, right? So I'm going to get the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. It reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right. So the time of Jacob's troubles, the time when the so-called white man is going to put the squeeze on you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans who make up the sons of Jacob. All right. They're going to slam a lot of you concentration camps. They're going to force. They're going to try to force that RFID microchip on you. And a lot of you Jakes are going to take it anyway, man. A lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're going to volunteer to get the chip just like you volunteered to get that goddamn jab when your livelihood was threatened as far as work goes. OK, but it's going to be a lot of resistance because not only is not not only are they going to try to mandate the RFID microchip, but they're going to try to do away with uh, with, you know, some of your other Bill of Rights, you know, as far as free speech. We know we see what's happening with free speech, freedom of speech. You know, they're basically trying to censor everybody. You got to watch what you say. You know, you can't offend certain communities, you know, the LGBTQ community. You certainly can't offend the goddamn small hat, so the ADL will be crawling all up your ass, man. Run a smear campaign against you. Demonetize you if you make money off of 
uh, YouTube or social media. All right. You see what just happened with Candace Owens. You know, and I kind of like Candace Owens, man. I kind of like Candace Owens. But um, only my main gripe that I got against her, it, which is a big one, which is one that made cost of her life, is the simple fact that she fucks with a goddamn white man. You know, she's just dealing with an Edomite. And not only that, she brought three tear babies in the world to this goddamn cracker. You know, other than that, a lot of the things that she be saying, she be on point. You know, she be she be somewhat on point. Somewhat, you know. All right. You know, her views on life is more better than the typical Negro woman that you see out here that's just fucking thotting around being a whore and a slut, you know, and, uh, and, and, you know, just, uh, giving, all giving in to this fucking world, man. These lazy black bitches that depend on welfare and they screw whoever they want to screw, you know, you know, she's coming from a real conservative standpoint, uh, Candace Owens, and she does know some history and understand how, you know, how government works and how they corrupted our people and shit like that. You know, she she went on the Breakfast Club and schooled them stupid ass niggas, Charlemagne and and uh DJ Envy gay asses, man. You know, so I give her props on that. But she just got fired from the Daily Wire, man, which goes to show you the censorship that they're trying to do. Uh, as far as taking away your your uh your um, your First Amendment right of freedom of speech. Okay, this is the Book of Amos, chapter eight, verse eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh." That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That's right, man. So, you know, with censorship, demonetization of people's uh, social media channels for trying to bring out the truth, you know, there's going to be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord, namely the Israelites, man. We've been going through this for forever, you know, you know, since um since the apostles been putting videos up on YouTube. Right before, you know, uh, big companies like Google took over YouTube and, um, and, uh, and, you know, you had algorithm and this, that, and the third, pick it up on words that you say to, you know, shut your video down. You used to have a lot of haters. They used to flag our videos, man. They used to report our videos. And all we did was tell you the truth. We broke down scriptures, man. You know, we read out of the Holy Bible, but people had a problem with that because they was condemned in the spirit, man. Their guilt, their guilt. Is what condemned them through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, his servants, the prophets, teaching his word, pushing his word, and rebuking you low life niggas, man, for your wicked deeds, man. So a lot of dudes used to get offended and they used to flag the video, man. A lot of dudes was fucking emotional, all right? And it was also, I'm pretty sure it was a lot of women, okay, because we used to get on the women hard, you know, but a lot of bitches, they used to flag our videos, man, okay? And this before all of that algorithm shit and like i said google took over youtube and you know google took over most of these different social media sites they were connected into google you know but now you know you got you know the adl and all you know all these different all these you know different um uh so-called communities lgbtq communities and this that and the third lobbyist groups and shit that uh that, you know, try to make, try to censor what you can say on social media. And that's more so for what? Because the Israelites been bringing out the truth, man. You know, we've been coming out telling you that we the real Jews. According to the Bible. Okay. You had certain celebrities that even woken up to, the, to that fact. And they even made mention of the fact that the so-called black man in America is a real Jew. And you see what happened when they did that. A lot of them guys, they even got canceled. Right. You know, the um, those endorsement deals that they got, got snatched away from them. And a lot of them sell out cocksuckers, apologize to the so-called Jewish community. And, you know, they did, uh, they had to do what? They had to take lessons and visit the Holocaust Museum and even donate money to that shit, you know? You know, and apologize, make a public apology, and this, that, and the third, man. You know, so censorship is real, man. But this is all part of this is all the things that's leading up to the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. It reads on to say, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. That's right, man, because, hey, man, th this Internet going to shut down. Everything is going to shut down. Social media, all this shit is going to shut down. You think the pandemic locked down was something big? Wait till your goddamn computers turn off, man. Wait till your computers turn off. And everything just fucking shuts down in this society, man.
you know? All right? They're talking about cyber attacks, the fucking grid, the electrical grid being blown up. It's going to be fucking, um, what do you call that shit? Blackouts all throughout the cities of America. It's going to get, it's going to get real hectic, man. You know, with the racial tension, it's going to be riots, real riots, man. Not them stage riots like what happened in the case of George Floyd, man. You know, it's going to be real fucking riots out there, man. All right? And guess what? That's when them Gurkha troops, the military troops, that's when they're going to roll into your neighborhoods, man. You know? And um, and they're going to slaughter a lot of you niggas. They're going to slaughter a lot of you niggas. They're going to capture a lot of you niggas, throw you in concentration camps, and, uh, and torture you. Okay? Jeremiah 30 and 7. I'm going to read that again. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. That's right. Through all our tribulations, man, as so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the hell that we ever been through, our ancestors have ever been through by the hand of the so-called white man, okay, that's not even going to compare to what's about to come, what's about to take place. The Lord said, so that, he said that day is great, so that none is like it. It says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. It's the time of trouble for Jake, man. And once again, Jacob, 12 sons of Jacob, is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Not them small hats, not Rabbi Shmuley, okay, Rabbi Barkley, Finkelstein, none, none of them assholes, man. You know, none of them sexual deviant fucking rats with the yarmulkes on their head. Those are not the real Jews. That's not the real people of the Bible. Okay? All right? It reads on to say, but he shall be saved out of it. That's right, because the Lord is going to de deliver an elect. All right? Those brothers... And sisters that are faithful and that believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, those are the ones that's going to be delivered, man. That's who the Lord is going to deliver in the end. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up. Michael is one of the archangels of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, he's the top angel, okay? He's the top angel when it comes to the four archangels, all right? And that time is talking about that same time in Jeremiah 30 and 7, the time of Jacob's trouble. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Who is the Lord's people? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, and who are the people written in the book? The book, the book is all about Yahweh Shah. But Yahweh Shah has his uh his 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 people, his his servants, his apostles, his disciples, the ones who follow him and the ones who actually believe in him. Those are the ones that are found written in the book. Okay, the elect of the of the nation of Israel. Right? Two thirds of Israel, y'all gonna be destroyed, man. And rightfully so. Okay? Rightfully so. You see what's happening to these celebrity niggas, man. Right? You see what's going on with Diddy right now, man. He's the latest one in the news, you know. On the run, house raided, both his, all of his houses raided, you know, the big smear campaign about, you know, all of his uh, sexual escapades of homosexuality and, you know, underage women and this, that, and the third, and, you know, domestic abuse, all that shit, all the dirt is coming out on that nigga, man, you know, and it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful, you know, because he's a two-third nigga, just like the rest of you two-third niggas, and guess what, the most I was going to start judging you mother effers, man. Plain and simple, you know, but he's going to deliver his elect. And when it comes to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect is going to be faithful, man. All right. Uh, Revelations chapter two, verse 10, it says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right. Because yeah, it's going to be cases of some brothers getting thrown in prisons, concentration camps or what have you, you know, and you're going to be hit with the proposition that either take this chip, you know, or get tortured or possibly even put to death. Right. It says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, who, who built prisons in America? You got the prison industrial complex. You got state prisons. You got federal prisons. You got private prisons. All right. And the so-called white man got FEMA. And FEMA got those goddamn camps, them little pop up, basically pop up prisons, man. You know, that they that they uh, use in case of emergencies, national emergencies. And when there's riots all over America, that's going to be declared a national emergency. And then martial law is going to be set. All right, so there's going to be, well, they already got concentration camps that are empty, waiting for that, for that to actual, actually take place. The riots and you know, in in great seditions here throughout America, they already got concentration camps, man. You know, empty concentration camps along these different rail lines in America, so they can ship you and transport you right to them damn camps. Okay, they have you, 
They, you, you might be uh, you might be well known in Harlem, right? But they snatch you up and sh and put you in that fucking train and ship you out to the middle of nowhere in the middle of the U.S. You know, in a concentration camp, and, and you won't be fucking found. And they can do whatever the hell they want to do to you. Okay, you ain't gonna see no lawyer. You ain't gonna see no fucking judge. By that time, your 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 all your bill of rights is gonna be thrown in the goddamn trash, man. You know, but it says um. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. The so-called white man is the devil. He the one who got them prisons, man. He's the one who profits off of these prisons. Okay? You know, I, I, I made a video telling you that Angola State Prison in Louisiana, which is the biggest prison in America, uh, it, 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 it sits on the same land that used to be a goddamn slave plantation. Okay? So it's the so-called white man that owns these prisons, man. It says that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death. That's right, man. The Lord said, be thou faithful unto death. Meaning what? Be willing to die if it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if needs be. Okay? But don't don't subject yourself to Satan's devices, man, which is that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right? And the Lord said, if you be faithful unto death, he said, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's right, man. Then the Lord is going to give you everlasting life. Right? A part, uh, a, a, a significant part in the governing body of the kingdom of heaven on earth, right? Yahweh Shah's kingdom on earth, okay? Which is, which that's the next kingdom to come, all right? A righteous kingdom, man, you know? What, what, what greater glory can you get than that? What greater glory can you get than that? The so-called white man can't give you anything like that because he's the devil, okay? All right? Uh... Yeah, man. So that's that's pretty much it on that, man. You know, I want like I said, I wanted to address the this is my snakes in the background and shit. One of my snakes. You got people leaving comments on my uh, on my channel, on my last video, talking about uh, you know, they I guess they talking about my snakes and shit. Oh, why you got the devil with you? Why you got a cursed animal with you? And this, that, and the third. Yeah, you know what? I ain't, I'm not taking offense to it, really. You know, and this because this really ain't about me, man. It's just. It's just amazing how, you know, I put these videos out, uh, giving you warning as a prophet, breaking down the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which is the Holy Bible, proving to you in the Bible that we are the children of God, showing you in the Bible that the Heavenly Father and His Son, who the world you know, really calls Christ, is so-called black people, right? And that the so-called white man is of the nation of Edom, and he's the devil and he's our enemy, man. But, you know, people overlook these messages, man. I'll tell you that America's going to be fucking destroyed with nuclear missiles, but all you niggas can see is uh that I got a snake in the background, man. You know? All right? Let me just, I'm just going to address that. I think I addressed that in another video, man. I can't remember. But uh, but let me just address that real quick, man. You know, new people stumble upon this video, whatever the case may be. You'd be confused about that. Yeah, I got snakes. You know, that's that's my thing, man. You know, I got, uh, I'm into uh exotic reptiles. You know, that's my thing. That's what I like to do. Some people like, you know, common pets like cats and dogs, which I like cats and dogs too. I love all animals, man. You know, but um, but uh, I'm more so into uh, you know, exotic reptiles, exotic birds, and things like that. Okay, and you know, that's just my hobby, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and as far as the snake goes, you're saying it's a cursed animal, right? Because a lot of you. Niggas read Genesis the third chapter and don't really understand what it's talking about. Genesis the third chapter is talking about a man when it talks about when it describes the serpent in the garden that uh deceived Eve. Okay, and then the Lord winded up cursing the serpent. That serpent is talking about the so-called white man in all reality, you know? Which that might be too deep for some of you to, to, to uh conceive, but you know, you can't possibly believe that Eve was talking to a goddamn snake. All right, and it was a snake that deceived her. Okay, snakes don't fucking have vocal cords to communicate with, man. You know, so so you know a lot of people are fucking stupid, man. You 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 you're mentally slow, man. If you really you believe in them fairy tales, all right? You believe in fairy tales. I'm gonna just bring this out real quick. Genesis chapter three verse one. It says, "Now the serpent was more subtle than any, subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh had made." And the beast is talking about all people, man. All right. The beasts are talking about people, you know, says it in Ecclesiastes that the sons of men shall see themselves as beasts. All right. So the beast 
it, in this particular chapter, Genesis, the third chapter, is talking about all the people on the earth. It says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh had made. All right. So that serpent is talking about out of all of the nations of people that the Lord made, there was a serpent like nation out of them, which is talking about the nation of Edom. But Esau wasn't born yet. But, you know, everything is reincarnated. All right. Everything is reincarnated, man. You know, because back during this time, you had uh, three classifications of men. Right. You had this. You had the sons of the most high, which later became known as Israel. Then you had the sons of men, which was just the other nations, but you also had the sons of the wicked. All right. The sons of the wicked is the serpent. All right. Which later became the nation of Edom. You know, the descendants of Esau. All right. So the Lord said, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord Yahweh had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, has the most high said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So he's already casting doubt in the mind of Eve. You know, Eve was conversing with us with, with one of the sons of the, with a son of the wicked right a wicked man and um she was conversing with 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 a with you know with a wicked with a wicked man who basically uh deceived her you know casted doubt in her mind about following the most high's instructions all right and for that when you jump down to verse 14 i'm, I'm gonna run through this real fast it says and the Lord Yahweh said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, right? Because Eve, you know, was supplanted. She was deceived. The serpent deceived Eve, right? Which is one of the, which is, this is the son of the wicked or so-called white man, you know, or what have you. It says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto the serpent, right? Talking about to that son of the wicked. Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Okay? The other cattle meaning all the other nations. And above every beast of the field, right? The so-called white man is lower than the goddamn Africans. He's lower than the Chinese and the Japanese and the Arabs and the East Indians. He's the lowest scum on earth when it comes to when it comes to mankind. All right. It says, Upon thy belly shall thou go in dust, shall thou eat all the days of thy life. All right. Yeah, that's right. Meaning what? That it was going to be the so-called white man was going to be accursed. He was going to be in that caveman like state. That Neanderthal state in which that prophecy was already fulfilled, you know, during the time of the Dark Ages, the so-called white man, they were second, third class citizens in Europe, man, you know, and a lot of them would basically ran off into the caves, into the Caucasus Mountains, you know, and they basically dumbed down. It describes that in, in the book of Job, the 30th chapter, all right? The dust represents confusion, being in a state of confusion. The so-called white man didn't even have a language. He didn't know how to he, he didn't know how to communicate with his own with his peers or whatever, you know. So he was basically all fucked up. All right? And that's what that means. And dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Like even like Apostle Tahar said in the video, he said that's talking about a man because uh snakes don't eat dust. You know, and I know that at first hand because of course I have pet snakes. They don't eat dust, you know. All right. OK. But the serpent, because of its cunningness and its wisdom, just like when I opened this video up and told you that Donald Trump, you know, you know, and all these different politicians, they like to spin it on you when they talk to you, man. You know, they say one thing, but they mean another. You know, that's serp that's being like a goddamn serpent, man. You know, when they when they ask questions, they know how to not be true. You know, they're not, they know how to filibuster and not answer a question straight up but spin things on you man that's a, that's like a goddamn serpent man you know and that's who was cursed the so-called white man is that cursed serpent man okay not a damn garter snake not a boa constricted not a python or anaconda or anything like that all right and this is the book of james chapter 3 verse 7 it says for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents right and of serpents for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and has been tamed of mankind. All right. Yeah. So all animals can be tamed. OK. All animals can be tamed. All right. How you, 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 what do you uh, what do you see when you go to, to these zoos, man? You see beasts of all kind in these zoos. You see lions, tigers and this, that and the third. Some of them are able to do tricks. Or taught to do tricks, right? You see birds, even birds of prey, 
Eagles, Hawks, Falcons, and this, that, and the third. Serpents, which represents reptiles, snakes, lizards, uh, uh, gators and alligators and crocodiles and such. You know, those are serpents. And it says, and of things in the sea, right? You see all kind of fish. You got monster fish, piranhas, oscars, you know, Jack Dempsey's and all kind of different fishes, man. Right? You go to uh, Sea World, you got killer whales and orcas and such doing tricks, dolphins and this, that, and third. All right? It says, it's tamed and has been tamed of mankind. Okay? All right? So, yeah, man, that's just the hobby of mine, having exotic reptiles, man. Just recently, I think it was up in the Bronx, even Brooklyn, Bronx, or, or Jersey, somewhere in the tri-state area in New York, about a week or two ago. You had a, a, a guy get mauled by his fucking pit bulls, man. Right? Guy got mauled to death by his pit bulls. Okay? You know? And a pit bull is a beast. Dogs are beasts. You know, dogs are known for being loyal to their owners, but even a dog could flip on you, man. You know? Okay? And, um, you know, when you're dealing with snakes, if a snake bites you, that's just some shit that comes with the territory, man. For people that are that like to keep, you know, exotic reptiles such as snakes. You know, that comes with the territory, man. You know, that doesn't mean make it an evil creature. You know, some people are into that. Others are not, you know. So, you know, I just wanted to address that as well, man. I'm in this video on that note because it's ain't about me and, and what people think about me and nothing like that, man. Just pay attention to the messages, man. You know, because that's what it's really about. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah coming back to deliver his elect and set up a righteous kingdom for us as a nation. Okay? So I'm going to end this video on that note. Say Shalom while we're rocking to you brothers out there, man. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Stay prayed up, man. Keep fighting the good fight. We almost out of here. Shalom.